guys, happy Sunday. I usually start my vlogs on a Monday, but I thought I'd start it on a Sunday today because I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to incorporate a refeed today. So not for a whole day. I figured just for one meal, I'd up my carbs. I honestly don't know how I feel about it just yet. I'm feeling a little bit strange. Let me turn the aircon on because it's freaking hot with the oven on. I, yeah, I don't know 100% how I feel about it. I'm only doing it because based off the research that I've done, it's like you need to do it every like month or so on keto. And the reason for that, I don't, I can't explain it because, you know, obviously I'm not an expert, but from what I gathered, the glycogen, like we have glycogen in our bodies, yeah, and when our liver runs out of glyco glycogen, that's when we start producing ketones, but we still keep glycogen in our muscles, even if we're in ketosis. And when the glycogen in your muscles starts to deplete, then that's when you start to feel really tired and lethargic, no energy, all that kind of stuff. That's when you start to feel that way on keto. So a refeed um, could potentially help that and also help boost your fat burning hormones. From what I've researched, and someone tell me if what I'm saying is wrong, but um, from what I've researched, you have fat burning hormones in your body. So I think T3 and lept leptin. Over time on a low carbohydrate diet, they tend to become really low. So yeah, that was like another thing that stood out to me. And I thought, well, you know what? I've been doing keto for nine months now and I've never really had a break from it. Like I have had, you know, on my birthday I had chocolate cake and then I've had like a little bit of chocolate here or like, you know, I've never really had a consistent full on break from keto where I've consumed carbs. So I thought I might incorporate it this week, see how I go, see if it changes things up because apparently for the first few days you'll feel fuller and more bloated but it's apparently like taking two steps back, but three steps forward. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about eating the carbs. They're cooking in the oven now and I just feel like, oh my gosh. Like I, I put um, 150, because I'm having 150 grams of sweet potato and I put 150 grams of sweet potato into Carb Manager and it came up with in red and it's like 29 grams of carbs and my like net carbs is obviously under 20 grams per day and i was just like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh this is so much like i i don't know i don't know how i'm feeling but yeah all right so this is my meal i've got 150 grams of sweet potato two burger patties some kewpie mayo some avo and some broccoli <sighs> I'm gonna try my first sweet potato chip in nine months. Honestly, nothing special. This is so strange. Hmm. Okay, I'm finished. I feel really, really full. It wasn't anything special, like, it wasn't that great. Um, but it was okay, like, it was yum, but it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I've been dying for this. Do you know what I mean? I just feel really tired. <laughs> I feel really full. Um, yeah, even though that didn't look like a lot, that was almost like double, close to triple my amount of the my daily intake of carbs that I usually have. I'll let you guys know how I'm feeling throughout the day and how I'm feeling tomorrow, so yeah.
So it's been like maybe an hour since I've had my food and I'm literally feeling so tired, so wrecked. I can't even be bothered holding my phone. Um, I just feel like crap. I feel like shit. I just feel like some people need to be a little bit more respectful of other people's food choices. Um, like, I had a few responses to my Instagram story saying that I shouldn't be scared of carbs. Obviously, if something makes you feel a certain way, you're going to avoid it. And I just, like, I know that my body doesn't work well with sugar because I break out. I get headaches instantly, like I feel exhausted after I come down from the sugar high, like it's almost like I go crazy, like crazy, crazy high and then I just crash down, almost like, I don't know, like as if I was to take a drug or something, like that's what sugar does to me. And now I feel that I've just discovered this is what Car like carb heavy like starchy foods do to me like I I'm so exhausted like I feel like I could just go to sleep now and this is why I just know that I could never go back to my old way of eating because it just doesn't work well with my body like this just does not work well with my body and if it works for your body that's fine like eat what you like I respect your decision to eat what you like but for me it doesn't it doesn't work and it's like people should just be respectful of that and also you know I, I don't know I just I just feel like this just doesn't this is why I could never go back to not being keto or at least low carb because I'm just, I'm so tired. I could literally crawl into bed right now and just go to sleep. <sighs> Anyways, that was not an enjoyable experience. I feel like I need a coffee or something. That was not enjoyable for me. Like the food was, okay like it wasn't anything amazing it was just like sweet potato chips and yeah like it's nothing special i hope that i get some kind of result out of doing this because yeah otherwise just a day of eating carbs for no reason and feeling like crap for no reason. I don't even know how I'm gonna go to my dad's house. Like I feel really tired, I can't be bothered. I can't, I feel like I can't get up and go have a shower and get ready. And it's been an hour since I ate. Okay, I'm really curious, so I'm going to test my ketone levels because I want to see what they're at because I'm feeling like absolute crap. I just had to make a coffee to try and like keep me awake. I think I'm just like extremely sensitive to carbohydrates. I'm just so sensitive. I hate doing this. One, two, three. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I'm still in keto. Okay. It's lower, but still in keto. Okay, so after a few hours out, um, and when I say out, I mean out on the couch because I was like done for. Um, I'm now going to go visit my dad. It's like 40 degrees here, so it's freaking hot. I'm wearing my fat shorts because I'm very bloated right now and I need to feel okay. I had to have a coffee 
to feel better, to feel like I had energy because I was just done for. That was not a fun experience. I'm glad I did it, but it just reminds me of like why I don't eat that way anymore because that's how I used to feel all the time, which is not fun. But yeah, I'm going to head to my dad's house. I'll see him for a bit. Visit Peanut because he's staying at my dad's house. I'll chat to you guys probably tomorrow. Alright, so I'm going to be on track for meals this week. So I've prepped my breakfast and my lunch and I'm going to eat them both at lunchtime. I've got um, three eggs, some tomatoes, cheese, and then I added a bit of spinach. And then I've got some burger patties and vegetables for lunch. So that's what I'm going to be eating tomorrow. Hey guys. Say hey mum. Hi. Hey everyone. Um, I just got home from work. I have nine new starters that I'm looking after at the moment. So I am exhausted. Um, we haven't had new starters since July, so it's been quite a while. Um, so, yeah, I'm really tired. I'm probably going to take tonight off the gym and just use today as one of my rest days. So, yeah, I'm just going to get to working on my vlog. Get that uploaded on Wednesday prep some of my food. I'll show you guys what I make for um, lunch tomorrow. It'll probably be just the same as today. So for breakfast today, I had the keto eggs, which is three eggs, some cheese, tomato, and some butter. I just added some extra spinach. And then for lunch, I had burger patties and vegetables. Um, so yeah, that was really good. The one good thing about being in induction training is that I like I don't get hungry because I'm so busy doing stuff and I'm so busy training. So I don't think about food at all. Now I'm gonna start my editing now, try and get as much done as I can. I've been trying to do it on the train, while I'm on the train um, on my phone but it's just a little bit harder on my phone because iMovie is not as good on the phone as what it is on the laptop. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get some of that done and try and get to sleep early tonight. I kinda wanna start going to the gym in the mornings again, just so that I can use the afternoons for working on my YouTube. It's just hard because I have to get up so early. Like I would literally have to get up at probably 4.50, make sure I'm at the gym by five, um, and come home, make sure I'm home at latest five past six, and have a shower, get ready for work, and then be out of the house by quarter to seven, maybe even 10 to seven, be out of the house by then so it's a bit tight especially like you know I do a full face of makeup so yeah I don't know when I used to drive to work it would, it's a bit easier because like I could leave here at like quarter past seven so yeah I don't know that extra half an hour just helps so much so yeah, I don't know, I'll figure it out. I do prefer going in the morning. I think it's just so much better because like it's the best way to start your day. It makes you feel so accomplished in the morning. Um, the only thing that I like about going at night is that you're not really that time restricted. But I guess I'm still time restricted because I wanna come home, I wanna eat dinner by a certain time, and and then I want to get to bed by a certain time as well. So I kind of am time restricted because, you know, if I don't get to bed by a certain time, it affects me the next day. So, yeah, I don't know. So many thoughts, so many thoughts, so many decisions to make. 
All right, so I got my dinner ready. This is just the keto burger that I've split into two. I just chopped up the patty and added some kewpie mayo and mustard. And then I've just got some water as well. Uh, lunch and breakfast packed for tomorrow. All prepared. Good morning guys, it's Tuesday. I wanted to wake up earlier today, but I actually ended up sleeping in. What? And I couldn't wash my hair and now my hair's all gross. But um, I wanted to share a bit of a non-scale victory with you guys this morning. So I was getting ready for work and I haven't worn these work pants in about maybe a year. Um, and this morning they are like super, super loose. Like around the back. So yeah, that's exciting. But... I'm just trying to quickly finish off my coffee because I've got to leave like now. I'm going to have my soul shot. Okay, I've got to go. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Oh my god. So I was sweating and then some of my bronzer came off. So I got bronzer helmet. <laughs> um, so I'm just at home now. I'm extremely exhausted. Work is taking it out of me at the moment. And when I say taking it out of me, I mean like literally taking it out of me. I am so exhausted. I'm not going to the gym tonight. I'm even considering just taking a week off gym just so that my wrist can heal a hundred percent and so that yeah I can just focus on my eating um, I've been eating really well for the past two days which is really really good um, it's something that I really want to get right um, I sort of fallen off track a little bit and not necessarily eating bad but not really weighing things and you know just being a little bit more lenient with treats and all that kind of stuff so yeah i'm just really trying to focus all my attention on eating to the meal plan so yeah that's what i'm just gonna focus on this week um i'm feeling pretty good i just did a little bit of a home workout i probably should have filmed it but um, I just did some squats, lunges, some kickbacks, and some, I forget what they're called, like the fire hydrants. <laughs> um, I just did some of them, so I did 50 of each. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to do a little something to get my heart rate up. I'm just taking a break from any heavy lifting, like real heavy weights. Um, I have heard Joseph and Mimi say as well that it's good to take a week off the gym just to give your central nervous system a bit of a break. It'd probably help with my whole plateauing situation. But yeah, I'm super tired, like super exhausted. Um, even though I haven't been to the gym today, I've done, I've, it says that I've walked 9Ks. Like the distance I've walked today is 9Ks and I've done over like 14,000 steps. So even though I'm not at the gym, I'm definitely moving. Um, training nine new staff members definitely has you up on your feet all day. So yeah. Hello. I, oh, it's very dark in here. Maybe I'll open the blind. One moment, please. Oh my gosh, okay. So, that's a bit better. Um, hello. I, it is, what day is it? Thursday. Um, I'm home from work. It's been really hectic this week. I feel like I haven't had a lot of time to myself 
Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I'm literally so exhausted every day. I love, like, I love my job and I love, like, I love when we have new people to train. Like, I love when we've got new staff, but oh my gosh, it is exhausting. It's really, really exhausting. Um, I didn't even vlog yesterday because I didn't finish work till 7 o'clock. And... Yeah, by the time I got home, I was just exhausted, and I just didn't have any energy to do anything. Um, my wrist is feeling somewhat better. It's not as, like, it's not sore when I make certain movements. It's not this wrist, it's the other one. Um, yeah, it's not sore when I make those, like, sudden movements, so, yeah a good sign yesterday I because I stayed back at work I didn't have any food for dinner with me and I was really hungry and it was late so I just decided to get bacon and eggs for dinner so I just had exactly the same thing as what I had for my breakfast and lunch it was bacon eggs mushroom spinach tomato um, it was pretty much just a big breakfast that I ordered and I um they it came with hash browns and baked beans and I said no hash browns and baked beans and there was bread and I wanted to eat the bread and I literally was about to but then I was like no I'm not gonna eat it it's not worth it piece of bread not that great <laughs> and um, something I did do yesterday though was because I've got like trainees at the moment um i bought them some lollies and like some lollies and some little like chocolate eclairs and um i just put them all into a bowl and put them at the front of the training room and all that kind of stuff and it's um i was like they were all out of the room and i was in the room by myself and i was just you know preparing some paperwork and stuff and I was just like, you know, I'm just going to have a, a chocolate eclair. So I had one. And I was like, oh, okay. And I felt all right. And then I had another one. And I was like, ah, oh, two will be fine. Like, it doesn't matter. Two is going to be fine. And then I had like a Coke bottle lolly that was in there. I was like, yeah, it'll be fine. Like, I won't get a headache from these three lollies. Um, and then I went outside and, like, sat down. And the headache, like, the rush of, like, just headache and pain that went to my head was ridiculous. I even felt like my eyes were getting a little bit blurry. Like, it was just really strange. I was just like, oh instantly felt really tired I was like oh this is too much and that was literally from like three pieces of sugar like two chocolate eclairs that were literally like this small wrapped up in little gold wrapping paper and then one coke bottle lolly which was like this big and I was like I felt like shit I had a headache for the rest of the night and then I went like, went home and I was feeling nauseous and I was just like, what the fuck, why? Like, why would you do that? It doesn't even make sense. But anyways, it's over now. <laughs> um, yeah, so sorry that I haven't really shown you much this week of what my life is like because... I've just honestly been really, really, really exhausted and really tired. Um, so to be honest, I might just check in on Sunday and, yeah, just check in on my weigh-in day. Maybe I might check in on Saturday and, yeah, let you guys know how I'm going. I'll chat to you guys soon. Hey guys, so I hope everyone is having a good Friday. Um, I'm just at home, chilling for the night, 
going to start editing. Um, I'm not very hungry tonight, so I'm just having a avocado shake. Um, so it's just got the AO um, dark chocolate almond milk, an avocado, a small one, so it's about 100 grams of avocado, um, a scoop of protein powder, vanilla protein powder, and I just added um, some MCT oil powder, the vanilla one. And yeah, I'm just going to have this for dinner because I'm really not hungry tonight. I'm not doing much tonight, I'm literally just um, editing. I have been feeling really nauseous for the past few days, like I've been feeling nauseous since Wednesday. Even on Monday I was feeling a little bit nauseous as well and I don't know what it is but I get these like sudden waves of nauseousness and it's just nauseousness, is that no nauseous? Nausea. <laughs> Maybe that's what the word is. Is nauseousness a word? Um, yeah, I get these like sudden waves of nausea. Nausea. You know when you've said a word so many times and it just sounds completely wrong? <laughs> Anyways, I get these sudden waves of not feeling well. Like I feel like I need to vomit. And I don't know what it is, but it's, yeah, it's not fun. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have this for tonight, I'm just going to chill, and yeah, I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow. Sorry that my vlogs have been so boring this week, but I've literally been so busy at work, um, and it's just taken a lot of my energy. I haven't been to the gym all week. My wrist is feeling a lot better, which is really good, so yeah. I should be back at the gym maybe tomorrow I might go um, if not I'll try and go on Sunday if not I'll go on Monday but yeah I'm feeling a lot better wrist wise um, food wise I'm doing better as well so yeah morning guys it is Saturday morning um, I'm just about to make myself a coffee because what is life without coffee? Um, where can I put you guys? Here? Alright, I don't have a lot of this left. As you can see, it's been flattened out. But I'm going to try and use whatever's left in here. To make myself... A bulletproof coffee. Um, this is definitely really good. This MCT oil powder. I definitely recommend it to anyone. Kind of sad that it's finished. It is a bit on the pricey side, so it's forty dollars for a packet like this. But you know, I don't know. I don't mind spending $40 if I know that I'm buying quality stuff. And this definitely is quality. I'm literally trying to scrape it out of the bag. I'm just going to put some Napia. Um, I know that people say these coffee pod machines are so, like, the coffee pods are so expensive, but I love it. Like, it's just so good. I don't want to ever go back to just drinking instant coffee. Probably could get a coffee machine, but like, am I really that extra? <laughs> my coffee it smells amazing I'm just gonna put a little dash of the Australia's own almond milk and that's it I'm convinced that my Coles doesn't sell this anymore because every time I've gone gone to the Coles near my house they don't have this so I'm like it's starting. It's happening. Okay, so I'm having cream cheese pancakes today. This is my first time having them in months, like 
months. I'm not very good at making them, but we'll see how we go. So this is my breakfast, which is, it's almost lunchtime, but this is my breakfast. It doesn't look amazing, but it's pancakes with some peanut butter, cream, sugar-free maple syrup, and some blueberries on top. I did add a bit of baking powder to the pancakes and it made them that much fluffier. Um, I also added a little bit of psyllium husk as well. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to eat this. All right, so excuse my mane at the moment. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna tie this up obviously, but I'm gonna head to the gym. Yes, I am. I'm actually pretty excited to go. Um, I haven't been for a week. Today's actually marks one week that I haven't been. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to go. I'm going to see how I go. I'll try and record if there's not a lot of people there. But, yeah, my wrist is feeling so much better. I can do all of this, like, crazy stuff. Um, yeah, my wrist is feeling so much better. I tried out doing some push-ups the other night on the floor and it was fine so yeah I think I'll be okay which is awesome oh my gosh I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of this like this little bit of fatty skin here <laughs> it's gonna be with me for life but yeah I'll um, I'll try record when I'm at the gym <laughs> I just like the sound. guys I am home from the gym I had a really really good workout which was awesome I trained legs I ended up training legs which was really cool I yeah went to the shops afterwards got some stuff and now I'm just about to eat my lunch and it's gonna be a really late lunch because it's like 6 12 um, so yeah I still got dinner to go but I'll see if I can fit it in um, but yeah I had a really good workout so happy to be back in the gym and my wrist is feeling okay so yeah happy days so this is my shop for the week I bought some almond butter this is just 100% almonds which is cool got some all-purpose seasoning because I ran out of mil mingle seasoning um, some double cream, some smooth peanut butter. I bought some decaf coffee because I'm finding that at night I want something, um, like I want something to drink and I don't want to drink coffee obviously because it's going to keep me up. So I thought I might just get some decaf coffee. Um, I got the lettuce, some broccolini. Pecans, um, green beans, strawberries, got some cucumber, um, some spinach, and some cheese. Lunch, it was meant to be a keto burger, but they just made it into a salad. Yum. And this is my dinner for the night burger patties, some vegetables that are roasted, and some hey guys, happy weigh-in day. Um, I am not feeling well this morning, so I'm going to try and keep this as short, quick and short as possible. Um, 
I'm feeling really nauseous and I've got a really bad headache. I have been feeling nauseous throughout the week. Um, so yeah, I might head to the doctors today and check it out because it's, yeah, it's been going on for a bit, um, which doesn't seem normal. I stepped on the scale this morning. I've also taken some progress pictures and taken my measurements. So this morning when I stepped on the scale, I lost 1.1 kilos, which is exactly the same amount as what I put on last week. So anything that I gained last week, I lost this week. It's It doesn't really feel like that, doesn't really feel like progress to me because I knew that the weight that I gained last week wasn't necessarily fat. So losing 1.1 kilos this week doesn't really feel like I've lost much fat um, in terms of weight. I just, yeah, I just think that my weight's just gone back down to what it normally is. So. Yeah, what I'm more interested to see this week was the centimetres. So I lost half a centimetre off my chest, um, one centimetre off my waist and one centimetre off my hips. I didn't work out this week. I went to the gym once. I really tried to use this week as a reset. You guys would have seen I started off the week with a refeed meal and then I didn't get to the gym until yesterday. So... Yeah, I've just really been using this week as a reset week just to sort of start from fresh, I guess. I am looking to head back to the gym this week, provided that I am feeling okay. Um, if I'm not feeling okay, and I mean na nausea-wise, then I probably won't go too hard. Um, my wrist is feeling better. It was a little bit tender yesterday, but it's nothing, like nothing too full on. Like, it's alright. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We'll be starting week six. I can't believe it's been six weeks already since I've been back on JRF. That's it for me this week, guys. Sorry that it's this week's vlog hasn't been the most interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go see if I can get an appointment with the doctor and get some rest. Bye.